Some breaking news in just the past hour. Police caught those two teenagers who escaped from that detention center in Concord. Investigators think they stole three cars over the two days they were on the run. Police think they stole a truck from Concord, then a car in Harrisburg Sunday. They say they ditched that one in Black Mountain yesterday, and they stole another vehicle there. Channel 9's Tina Terry has been covering this story since the two boys escaped and knew at five. Tina, I know you spoke with a victim and you also spoke with the detectives who tracked them down. Hey, yeah, the Cabarrus County Sheriff believes that those kids somehow got out of the detention center, which is right down the street here, ran through a wooded area back there and then started stealing those cars tonight. One victim told me she wants security changes here. I was only going in for like two things. And when I came back, my car was gone. Amani Rucker was inside this Harrisburg Dollar Tree when it happened. She was shocked when deputies told her two kids who broke out of a Concord detention center might be responsible. They told me that two juveniles had broke out earlier and they was from Black Mountain. They stole a landscaping truck earlier about five o'clock and then my car went missing three hours later. The teens reportedly traveled more than 140 miles to the Black Mountain area, dumped Rucker's car at a McDonald's on Highway 9, and stole another car from that parking lot. Uh, the guy was, was attempting to go into a fast food restaurant, left his car running. Uh, the door was still locked. He turned around to go back to his car and seen the guys jumping in and driving off in his vehicle. Police believe Christopher H. and Michael M. then drove to Hickory, dumped that new car, and took off. State and local officers found Michael in Hickory today. They found Christopher at another location, but wouldn't say where. It's very upsetting because that morning I was supposed to go to a new job, and I couldn't even go because I didn't have a car or a ride there. For the second day in a row, I pushed the state trying to find out how those kids escaped a facility surrounded by a barbed wire fence. I also asked if security changes are underway in preparation for the raise the age law, which could bring more young people into the juvenile justice system. They need more security in a juvenile detention center. Yeah, and I emailed the state a list of questions from my phone yesterday. They told us they would give us answers today. At this point, we still have not gotten any responses. We'll continue to push for those answers, though, Scott. Back to you. Tina, we know you will, and of course, our viewers have a lot of questions as well. If those teens got out, uh, are there vulnerabilities? We know you'll stay on top of it, so thank you for that update tonight.